river run, run through the hills, run river run to the sea, run river run to your place beneath the sun, run river run over me, run through the land, you run through my soul, bring me wisdom and peace, run through Jan Lewis, welcome to Be My Guest. I am your host today, and we have from Ashland, we have a encore appearance, an encore appearance by Cheryl Cohen. She's a mosaic artist, and she was on with us oh, a few years back, and I loved her work then, and wait till you see her work now. Cheryl, welcome. So and nice this to is be her here. first time in our new studio. We've been here, gee, it's just about a little over a year now. And the first thing that I saw when I sat down here at our coffee table was this girl's get a load of the bling. Look at this. And Cheryl designed. Cheryl, tell me about this. Okay. It's the love of my life. Oh. It is. I, I, I have to be honest. But, oh. um, but the first question is, is there a real shoe in there? And yes, there's a real shoe in there. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, it has three layers of cement on it, which what else do you do with your shoes. Oh, and, um, that reminds me of the Mafia. So right. <laughs> yeah, uh -oh. And then the next question I get, mostly from younger kids, is do I wear them? And oh. that is a no, because first of all, I don't make a pair. I yeah. just make one. Uh, I have another blue one that I made. Oh. Um, so, uh, you know, it's a five pound, sh one five pound shoe probably is not that functional. I feel like Wearing I'm a QVC. <laughs> I know. But, uh, but people have said to me, well, why don't you make something functional out yeah. of it, like a, um, uh, like a phone receptacle or something like that. But one thing I do do with it is I bring it to my network meetings and I put my business cards right in here. And so I walk around with my shoe and people take business cards. So it's kind of, how, I get attention that way. Cheryl, how long did it take you to create this? It takes a very long time. It has to dry. I, Probably. Yeah, and I am really not great about timing things, so I have to give you kind of a guesstimate, but they're very time consuming. I would say that probably took me 60 hours anyway. And what's yeah. challenging is most of the time when you do mosaics, you do flatter surfaces. Um, with something this contoured, that's the challenge. Doing in here almost made me want to cry. Yeah. Almost made you want to cry. Yeah, it, it's really um, a little bit of a painful experience, and and uh, we call it tweezers and profanity when you have say, moments you, like that. How do you get those <laughs> tiny mosaics to stay in that heel? It's tweezers. It is tweezers, and then getting them down into here and getting places that you really can't see. How on earth did you get in the toe underneath there? Well, I I, I kind of trick it and trick the eye, and I only go in as far as you can see. Good. <laughs> I guess because you could tear your hair out. Otherwise, what would you do? But uh, but it's really it's great fun. Oh, and I, I love it. And like all my pieces, I always start off with a focal point. So yeah. I start looking for a focal point of any color or any whatever. And I came across this pin, sure. and I just fell madly in love. And I said, well, that has to be something major, and it's just the perfect focal point. And that's what gives me the color scheme of what I'm going to make. And I do that with all my bigger pieces too, and my flatter pieces. <sighs> is I find a focal point or something that just makes my heart melt and that becomes the theme. So then at least I know kind of what colors to go with and all that. But Cheryl, show us that one right beside you. I, now that is a, is that the tree of life? Um, it could be. Okay. I'm gonna go with yes. It, you know, I, it, I love the orange and it's almost like a fire. Can you hold that up, Joe? There you go. I just finished it. This oh. is one of my newbies, and I haven't painted the frame, and I can't decide. Pe uh, uh, I've had mixed reviews about whether I should keep it natural or painted. The bling so you're seeing know. are mosaics, and Cheryl literally designs these with mosaics. There you go. That that's the real deal. Mm -hmm. That's not paint. You know, yeah. that's that's mosaics. And you can kind of see the shimmering yeah. if I move it like that. Um, but for this one, my my uh, my inspiration was my husband and I went to Africa last summer. South Africa, which was unbelievable. And so I decided I wanted to somehow recreate those flat top trees that you see like in The Lion King. Mm -hmm. And so I started making, and I decided it should be purple for some reason. So I started with the purple, and then it just didn't want to be that kind of tree. Mm -hmm. It's changed. It, and so a lot of times it decides 
what it wants to be and mm -hmm. it did not want to be a flat top tree so, so you go along as you feel uh, yeah I always start with a plan but then I completely ignore it mm. and then so then all of a sudden I came across these colors and I said oh I'm gonna go with that and then the tree got fuller and fuller and so it became this but um I love that yeah at one point I, I do want to make so it was African inspired but it didn't quite come out that way now as notice the frame the wooden frame what's it you, you frame it. Oh, okay. Actually, what is it I haven't on? even put this together yet. Well, what is, that, so what is it on? What is it? This is called weedy board. Weedy? And uh, this is what a lot of mosaic artists use. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's it has styrofoam in the middle. It's actually very similar to blue board. Yeah. And people use it for bathrooms. Mm -hmm. uh, carpenters use it for bathrooms. Uh, okay. It comes in all different kinds of thicknesses. And it makes it so they're not heavy. Because feel that. You would expect oh. it would be heavy. It's not heavy. It's not heavy. No. Um, it's beautiful. How long so, did it take you to create that? Well, this... Oh, my gosh. Again, it's hard to... The reason it's hard to kind of qualify it is a lot of time that you're spending on mosaics and painting or any kind of art is deciding what you're going to do. Mm. Um, the actual construction isn't the part that takes forever. You change your mind 30... Sure. Thousand seven, you know, million times. Mm -hmm. So, um, so you know, from begin. Actually, I started this, and then I started with my whole flat tree concept, flat top tree, and it wasn't going anywhere, and it stayed on my desk for six months, mm -hmm. and then I picked it up again. But all in all, I would say it took me probably fifty hours. I mean, That's it takes a lot a of time. Long time. Yes, it is. But that is all the de decision making. And then there's, you know, the time that you're Cheryl, don't you have class you give classes too. I give classes. How yep. do people find out about that? Well, you would go to my website, uh That's C O H E N. Yes. And Cheryl with a C. Yeah. And um yeah, my studio's in Holliston. Uh, right across from the middle school, 360 Woodland Street. And I have a fabulous studio. Last time I was here, I, I was working out of my house. You were. So my studio is so fabulous. i got to tell you about my studio. All right. <laughs> well, tell me about it. Um, it's 800 square feet, and it is, well, I love collecting things. I mean, as much as I love making art, I love collecting things. Oh, okay. and it's a dangerous world I live in. Of well, you're a huntress. You're, you're, I am you're, a huntress. Yeah. And so, you know, if there's a yard sale, my husband knows, <laughs> doesn't even ask. He just pulls right over. You know. Oh, you I wish I had that going. Uh, it's awesome. <laughs> he will stop at a yard sale without me. Are you serious? I am serious. To pick and, up something for you and call me and say, I came across these great plates. Do you want me to pick them up? For that you? is too cool. How about? Thrift shops. Oh, I love thrift shops. Yeah, I do very well. What's that one on freebie thing online? I used to do it a lot. Free, free. Oh, free cycle. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. kind of. Fun. I don't get a lot of great. No. Once in a while. Sometimes. Sometimes I get stuff. From Show us this heart. So real, those these little ones here. Now, they're, are they like hot plates for? Actually, what these are coasters, and oh. this is when people first start, and you could use. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they're all coasters. Oops. Oops. And oh, I love this blue. Oh, it is so beautiful. I don't know, Paula, if you can get this. This is so delicate. Look at this. She's got... Okay. We'll, need, we'll take turns. <laughs> this is... Uh, basically, this is what people start making when they first come to me, <gasps> is you start with something small and flat. Yeah. And I teach people how to cut straight lines, like for this kind of thing. I teach people how to cut curved lines. Yeah. And Show us yours. Um, and then sometimes... Here it comes. <laughs> See if we can get a hold of that. I love that heart. Oh. Um, so sometimes people make straight lines. Some people make curved lines. And then sometimes people just have fun with it all. And just, and most people, when they come for a first class, just play. And this is just great fun. Let me see that heart a minute. So you can pick, pick out this heart if you go to Cheryl's uh, workshop for class, mm -hmm. right? And that's a first class kind of item. Look at that, look at that. Oh. I also love these because when people are in the hospital or people oh, need a little lift, I always definitely. make one and then I sign the back. And you know what? In a gift basket. It's so nice. It's so sweet. Now are these, wait a minute, this looks almost like a bathroom tile, but it is it? Or no, it's not a bathroom. They're actually, they're actually on a plywood type wood. And do you cut them yourself? So I, get, I have them cut for me. Yeah. 
And the so, people come and they make these yeah. during the class. They, well, they have three choices on first class. They can make coasters, mm -hmm. light switch covers, or, um, or, or pendants. And pendants are my brand new thing. All right, let's see this because I love jewelry. And, let's go. Oh, my gosh. So this is, this is one that I made that I'm wearing. I don't know if we can get, we'll hold them off as much as we can. What is okay. that tall? Did you have that tall one on? I think I brought this That was before. on before. Yeah, this is called a mezuzah. Yes, to put on your door. And it's yep. a Jewish tradition to put them on the doorpost of your house. Yeah. And they have a Hebrew blessing inside the home. I love that. And these are unbelievable bar mitzvah gifts, wedding gifts, housewarming gifts. It's very long. The ones I've seen are, are not quite as long. The ones yeah, I've... some are small. So there's yeah. really no limit in terms of size. Oh. But in terms of making a mezuzah, this is also an option you can yeah. make at the studio. The nice thing about it is the real little ones would be frustrating, you yeah. know, but this is a better size for a, a mosaic. I love like. that. I, I loved it when I first saw it. <laughs> yeah, they're so fun. Now here comes the jewelry. So guys. the jewelry. Oh, oh I'm God. having so much fun. So there's all different ways. Um, so here's a couple options. Um, the fun thing about jewelry, too, is there's all different ways to finish them. This one has a resin finish, mm -hmm. which is kind of, uh, you know, you pour this acrylic type stuff over it. And this is grouted. So How long does so it take the resin to dry if you were in the workshop? It's 24 hours. Okay, so you come back and get it. You come back and get it, yeah. Hmm. And, uh, and I have tons of charms. So I have this big six-foot table with all these little, you know, little compartments of uh, stuff filled with all this little great stuff. And it's like a buffet. And you, you go to it with your tweezers and you put these together and they are a and I am blown away with what people make. I think Unbelievable people have, blown how many away. people usually come into that one class at a time? Five, six, seven, eight, ten? Well, interesting, you should say. So I have all kinds of classes. I have my weekly classes, so Tuesday morning and Thursday night, every week, 52 weeks a year, yeah. except when I'm on vacation. And then I have weekend workshops once a month. I have ladies' night outs once a month. I have open studios once a month. I do Girl Scout troops. I even have my own badge. I should have brought it. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. um, How about senior centers? And I've done some senior centers. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I've done some, I have special needs kids that come because my background is as an occupational therapist, so I love that. I wonder about hospice. Uh, yeah. It's limitless. Yeah, it's it li that's why I used to come up with this stuff. What yeah. I could do. As a matter of fact, some of the senior centers will actually bus people to my studio. They will. Which is unbelievable. I love that. Um, so, so it's very exciting. So anyway, um, my last ladies' night out, I had 17 women. It was amazing. And everybody's so friendly and fun, and people bring wine, and we have a ball, and they're just mm. sweet and wonderful. So, um, and then other class. So it, these are a couple other options. Oh wow! And this is kind. And this is another option of a type of pendant that does not have a finish at all, but it looks very textured. And, it's, and some it's, people really like that. That's look. grouted. This one is not. No. This one okay. is just glued. Oh, oh, that looks. But that might be easier for a beginner. It, it's easier for a all beginner, right. but oh, it's none of the. You know, I walk you through any kind of... Do you um, have to use tweezers? Either. It's best. Okay. You yeah. would want to. My fingers, I couldn't... I can hardly even bead with little ones. The bigger ones, yes, I tried a beading class and flunked miserably. Because <laughs> I couldn't see to get the thing in there. Well, these aren't too small that you can't see it. Yeah. And I have these nice long tweezers, which are great. Yeah. Because, you know, you feel like you're holding on to something and you're not dropping them. I like that stuff. face of it. Show us the mirror. The, oh, that. So I love beachy stuff. Beachy is, makes me happy. So this is just super beachy. Um, did you have this on before? What was the date? I don't know. When did you make this? Because I've. Have you seen this? Oh, I, I've had this in some of my promotional materials. I think, yeah. I think so. Yeah. yeah. I think you had it with you. Oh, maybe I did. I think you did because I know the shells and everything. Oh. Yeah. But, um, but anyway, but I love. It's always so hard to decide what to bring. Yes, it's funny. It is. I would bring things. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but anyway, the I love the, anything beachy, and what's great about mosaics is you can use anything uh, non-porous yeah. to when you're making a mosaic. And even if you have something that's a little more porous, like these, mm -hmm. uh, you just glue them on after you grout. So you can use almost anything in a mosaic, which is very cool. Oh my God! And now that get this nice bowl. This is with the. Uh, People do so many different things with these, but look at this. Look yeah, at the work uh, in this. Uh, uh, so the, this plant pot. Yeah. And uh, and it's so great. Mm -hmm. it, there's so much fun. And these are plates. These are plate shards. Um, I went to visit my daughter in California, and who goes to California and come home with plates? But mm -hmm. in my suitcase, I found plates at some place we went. Sure. And I had to have them. 
and and I couldn't decide what I wanted to do, so I kept just changing my mind, and that's fun too. And these are just good old rocks, and I love using rocks. I love what's coming up that that right there in the front, that like burst of sun. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's really flower. beautiful. So that's fun. And then I'm doing rocks now. I just noticed you're right now. And this is go rock hunting. Oh, that's a whole story. Oh, okay. But this is actually the the doorstop for my studio, um, and my sweet little. And frog. He, that's it. That's he, that goes on the floor. Yeah, so it lays down like this, and it holds the door open. Oh, okay. All yeah. right. Show your frog. <laughs> so, so this is my uh, my sweet little frog. Uh, but a lot of people make uh, butterflies, ladybugs, flowers, mm -hmm. whatever, uh, lizards. We've had some beautiful nice beautiful doorstep. Rocks. And this part here goes right against the door. Yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of the yeah the the doorstop. Um, but these are these are great fun. Yeah. I've had children make these too. Oh, yeah. For these though, you have to use thin set, which is the um, outdoor mm -hmm. cement. So um, and it's a little bit of a different technique yeah. to do, but they're really really great fun. And so some people use them as paperweight. Some people use them in their garden. I could see doing one for my desk. Yeah, you know, for you know, the hunk of papers, but you know, put it on top. And yeah, I love it. There, you know, it the is true. It's fun. the sky's the limit with what you can come up with. There's something right down there on the bottom. Oh, I almost forgot this. This is um, something new that I'm doing, <gasps> newer that I'm doing, but this is um, this is actually a, a resin process. So I also teach how to do this. Uh, and it is so much fun because who doesn't like sea glass? I mean, everybody likes sea glass. Oh, yeah. uh, and who doesn't like starfish? And I mean, it's just such a happy thing. Definitely. I can barely contain myself. But these are great fun, and I do them on windows too. So I get wind, yeah. wooden, wooden windows. I love that with the light coming right through. Yeah. But Have it you looks ever been to the South the Street South Street Diner in Westboro? Because it, it's a it's a very nice high end little restaurant. Her, I should see them because their decor likes to focus on that type of thing. Oh really? And you would, oh yeah, I can see your work up there. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, I should look into it. Oh yeah. Oh, it's but, a very, very nice little. So now, when did you when did fun. you get into this, Cheryl? We will get back into your history. Well, how, well, how many years ago did you get into? Um. Well, uh, I started doing this about, oh, gosh, almost probably eighteen years ago, and I started off uh, because I saw a, a smash plate picture frame, mm -hmm. and I said, "How hard can it be?" which is always the dangerous words. Yes. So <laughs> hundreds of dollars later, hundreds of hours later, I figured out how to do it correctly. This You can do it with any kind of grout and any kind of this and any kind of that, but it doesn't come out like you want. Okay. And it, you, there's certain materials that will come out better than others. So I came out with a prototype I liked, and then I made them for years, like eight years, nine years. Just for just, gifts? Just the frames. Mm -hmm. And I had a closet full of them. And people would come, and whenever they got married or bought a new house or whatever, I would say, you go gift. shopping in my closet. Mm -hmm. And people would shop in my closet and be thrilled. It was the best thing ever. And um, so I did that for a very long time. And then my sister went to Italy and bought some beautiful bowls, carried them around Italy because she was so afraid of breaking them. In Logan Airport, her husband tripped. Oh, no. They went flying. Oh, no. And she was devastated. What so, did they put him back together? No. There was, there was in some... too many pieces. Oh my god. So she uh, she <sighs> took a mosaic class. Yeah. And then she took one class at Cheryl, you have got to do this with me. So I went and sure enough it was love at first seat sight. And I, knew, I always knew I loved doing it because yeah. I was doing one piece of mosaics. Uh, but uh, it opened my eyes to the limitlessness yeah. of mosaics, so I did that, and then uh, and then it just started building momentum, um, and then I decided to start giving classes out of my home because mm -hmm. it got to the point where my materials got to such an extensive degree it was like I can't use all these in my life. Yeah. yeah. So I started having classes, and that was so great. And then the classes got so busy and so full, I couldn't have them in my house anymore. Mm -hmm. So that's so a year and a half ago I moved to the studio in Hollister. So you now what street is your studio on? It's 360 Woodland Street. 360 Woodland. I'm wondering, coming up from 135 if you're from this area up to and uh, you go through obviously Hopkinton to, to, to keep going. Are you anywhere near the Indian um, temple? Um, Sri Lanka. It's, it's not really 135. It's closer to like 126. 
Okay. Yeah. So if you go down, Mid-month. it's not far from. Um, 109, 126? Um, in, in Hopkinton. Oh, yeah. So it's yeah. near like CVS okay. and not far from Bertucci's, right across from the middle school, near Coffee Haven. Market Basket, you mentioned. Market okay. Basket, I lived out there. Oh, way. you live out there. Okay, yeah. I've been over that way. Yeah. How, when are the classes held? So uh, every single week, mm-hmm. Tuesday morning and Thursday night. Okay. And then, um, and then once a month, I do Ladies' Night Out. Once a month, I do weekend workshops. Once a month, I do open studios. Um, and, uh, and then I have after-school classes for kids. If you were a beginner, are great. a beginner wanting to do this, which class would you suggest? Well, that's a good question. Believe it or not, how I organize my classes is um, you can come anytime you want. That I have a class. I have a mix. I have all levels in all classes. Mm-hmm. I have in every class of, let's say eight. I have probably two or three beginners, and uh, some people have been with me for three years. Okay. I, I still have my very first student who comes every single week. I don't blame her. I yeah. think it's fun. And it's she's fun. unbelievably talented. So, um, so if you wanted to start, you could start tomorrow night. How much would it, is a class? It's thirty-eight dollars. Okay. And that includes all materials. Mm-hmm. And the nice thing about my classes is I don't have anybody, you don't have to buy anything up front. Mm. So sometimes you have to buy $75 worth of materials yeah. before you can take a class. Mm. You have access to all of my materials and everything's included. And then I have a four pack for $140 mm-hmm. and a 10 pack for 325 So the price of each class goes down. Yeah. Accordingly. So if you go and you answer, if you pay $38, you go, and everything's right there, and you show people how what to do with them. Yeah. They can pick out their colors, mm-hmm. pick out what they'd like to do. I love the idea of the mezuzah, and I love the square, mm-hmm. uh, the jewelry, too. I mean, a necklace like that. Oh, they're so funny. I mean, how do you decide which do you like best? Oh, it's y- usually there's a moment of, oh, my God, where do I begin? But again, what I always tell people is start with a focal point. So start with one charm that you love. If you yeah. like hummingbirds, you know, I have one with a hummingbird. If you like hearts, I have hearts. Start with one piece that you love and kind of work your way out. And then I help you through the process. I don't expect you to, yeah. to know really what to do. But what we, what, how a class is structured is if you came in and you sat down, I would I first give you a container of glass, mm-hmm. of all mixed glass. Are they they're cut, are they cut in different shapes? They're cut in different shapes, okay. but I teach you how to cut them even more. Okay. So they're, it's just random pieces of glass, mm-hmm. and, uh, and I give you spoons, and you dig through the container with the spoon, and you see, you make a, what I tell people is you want about this much glass, mm-hmm. so you want to make a little mountain of glass in front of you, of your favorite colors or whatever. It can have a theme. It doesn't have to have a theme. So you make a pile of glass you like. Um, I then show you how to cut the glass. Um, and then the next step is you start kind of arranging it on the wooden coaster that I oh, give you gosh. or the light switch cover. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And um, and then I sh- and what I tell people, too, is to push the tiles really, really, really close mm-hmm. together mm-hmm. because this is actually an example. I of love that. Look at that. This is an example of, of with virtually no space between tiles. Mm-hmm. Uh, so when people put spaces, then you just see a lot of grout. And you really, the tile's so much more Yeah, you've got to cozy them up. Yeah, that you, you want to see more glass than grout. Did, did students do these, or did you do these? I did these. These are my samples. I was going to say, they look extremely professional. <laughs> I don't know if I could hit the mark. But you would not believe what people come out with, even on their first time. It's very impressive. And I have, uh, I have one picture in my studio of one student who made four coasters in a row uh, in, in each subsequent se- uh, session. Yeah. And I have a picture of them. Yeah. And it's the best example of how much you can learn in even four sessions. Because the first one was, you know, a beginner. Yeah. The second one was starting to look more organized. The third one was a picture of an ocean. And the fourth one was this delicate, beautiful flower. And it's amazing how just in really a few sessions you can learn a lot about how to cut the glass and <laughs> you know um, there's something about that that, that hits yes. a woman's heart oh it does. yeah the, well, I, was I it agree. well tell what's the name of it again what did you call it there's no place like home there's no place like home so yeah. what is this like the ruby slippers yeah. i mean i i don't know where i would wear it i mean i mean this is this is for decoration but i mean if i had a real shoe decorated like this 
I was, you know, we just had a guest who was the uh, docent and usher from the Hanover Theater. Mm -hmm. I would say something like she, she, you know, a real she, she event. Yeah. To go to it. Oh my God. I mean, you'd knock them socks off. I know. I mean, just the bling alone. Ooh. Oh yeah. You would get all the attention. Can you have world. enough bling? No, I have decided no. <laughs> and your your husband actually listen up out there. <laughs> if he if there's a yard sale, if you're not, you're, with, he just pulls right you over. You don't have to ask him, and you don't have to listen to. Oh no. He'll do it. And and he, I go in one direction, he goes in the other direction, and he's scout enough that one side, and I'm scout just so that, you know, we can He get knows what you're looking for. He Well, he, you know, he needs to ask most yeah. of the time, but for the most part, yeah. Yeah. This he's is really good. And he'll think of stuff that I wouldn't, he'll, we'll both see the same thing, and yeah. he'll say, oh, you could use this as this. And yeah. I'm like, I didn't think of that, you know. How do people get in touch with you again, Cheryl? So, uh... Uh, my website is www.cherylcohenmosaics.com, and uh, yeah, just uh, contact me, and all my classes are online, all, everything's listed, um, all the pricing, um, and uh, and it's it's really fun. And then I do special parties, so I do Christmas parties. Oh, okay, parties. you have put you to parties too. Okay. Yeah, I do Christmas parties, so if you want to get your co-workers together, yeah. I have, yeah, uh, if you have a group of eight or more, yeah. uh, people can have their own night. And uh, in your in your class, Cheryl, do you have the smaller version of the plant holder? Because I might be drawn to something like that. Because for my desk to organize my pens. Oh well, I don't. But you, uh, the other option is people bring in stuff all the time. Oh, you can so do that. So let's say, oh yeah. So yeah. let's say you have a a mug that you like or, or a, a vase that you don't want anymore and you mm -hmm. want to cover it with glass and just mm -hmm. give it a new personality. Yeah. The other thing that people do is bring in grandma's china that's chipped <laughs> and broken or mm -hmm. whatever and then uh, make a frame out of it and give it to their siblings for holiday gifts and you can make super loving, sweet, wonderful gifts with a brooch from grandma on part of the frame and it's this it's is very touching. I can also see, you know, we were thinking of the myriad ways which you already know most, but people in recovery, you know, so many people, you know, the heroin epidemic and people in the alcoholism and all this, in recovery, this is something to give their hands, keep their hands busy, and I could see you going in there with this type of thing, and they're actually, it's like instant gratification for somebody who is just so struggling, and I can see where this would be absolutely fantastic. Oh, it's my. very meditative. Yes, too. it's very calm. Yeah, definitely. And you know, the nice thing is, I, I tell people that that for oh for a few hours, your biggest problem in life is finding a red triangle for that red space, and that's all you're thinking about. It's great. It, you know, all of your issues and thoughts melt away, and mm. you're just very focused. The other thing that's so great is I have a group of people, mm -hmm. and they're just. I, don't, I always say only wonderful people take mosaics or something mm -hmm. because I always have wonderful people in my studio and everybody's laughing and telling their life stories and and I've gotten to the point where and people make friends in my studio mm -hmm. and there's one woman who came and uh, she actually lives in my neighborhood and uh, and she wanted to move because she said nobody here is friendly and I don't mm -hmm. feel connected. And she came to your class? She came to my classes. She doesn't want to move anymore. Oh, but she doesn't. She met, she's met all these wonderful people. Before we, we go, I just want to show the audience again, viewers, this frog, okay, she did it on a rock, but it's a doorstop. The, this side here goes up against your door, and like, like this, flat, and you can see the little frog. It doesn't have to be a frog, but the little frog, I mean, I'll bet you have more. I love rocks anyway. I, 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 I love, love like I love the rocks. rock art with the little eyeballs and funny little things. And oh, nothing like I love rocks. You can't, you know. Yeah. And actually, some of my best rocks I got in Martha's Vineyard, and I make my sister take yeah. them home. Luckily, they take their car over. Yeah. So I, I load her car with rocks. I <laughs> take home for me. <laughs> but um, but sometimes you go to some beaches with great smooth rocks and all. Cheryl, one more time. How can people reach you? Uh, www.cherylcohenmosaics.com And her classes sound like a lot of fun. She's right over in Holliston, so it's not that far to go, right? Right. And uh, hopefully I can go one of these times. That'd be kind of fun for me, too. I think, I think you need Thank to. Thank you, Cheryl, for coming on again. Encore Thank appearance. you so much. And we'll see you next time and be my guest. Run, river, run. Run through the hills 
Run, river, run to the sea Run, river, run to your place beneath the sun Run, river, run over me